So, we were doing this electronic uh, and uh, steric effects in that uh, the first effect we have taken inductive effect. We have defined inductive effect is a, a small induced polarity in a, a C C sigma bond on a non-polar system. If a, a group able to produce a small induced polarity, uh, it is called inductive effect. It has four features. It is a weak effect and it is a permanent effect however, but it has a as the group goes on increasing the distance between the system and the group, uh, the effect goes on decreases and it is operated through the sigma bond. Based on this one application also we have completed under the applications. One application that is acidity we have discussed acidity of carboxylic acids and phenols both we have discussed in the last class. So, we have studied that there is a if there is a withdrawing group is there in a given acid like acetic acid it is said to be a stronger minus i group influences to increase the acidity when compared with a normal acid and when there is a, a plus i group relatively when a plus i group is there on a acetic acid then it is called propanoic acid it will be the weaker one. So, this is a stronger acid and this is acid if I say this will become a weaker acid. So, the acidity as the plus i groups increases either by the nature of the group if a fluorine is there much more acid number of chlorines more it is closer to this uh, the COOH it is more like that the electronegativity of the element number of groups and where is the place. So, all that influence on the acidity as the minus i increases the strength increases. Similarly, as the plus i increases the strength decreases because the last time we have seen explanation and all that. Now, let us go to the second application that is basicity of the amines. Ammonia is said to be a, a base as per the different types of the hypothesis we have proposed. This is a when HCl is added H plus is able to receive the electrons from the ammonia. So, ammonia is the electron donor in this case. All the electron donors are in the modern theory also we accept it as a, a base. So, therefore, ammonia is a base. So, it gives a ammonium chloride a salt formation takes place. So, the ammonia is acting as electron donor therefore, it is base now. Now, the same ammonia we have a now the one alkyl group is attached any alkyl group. So, the alkyl group shows a arbitrarily we have taken a alkyl groups are plus i groups, but if you come to reality also when nitrogen is attached to the carbon nitrogen is more electronegative therefore, it takes electrons. So, in this example also the alkyl really working as a plus i group. So, a small electron density through the sigma bond it is shifting to the nitrogen. So, the originally the lone pair it has a, a donating capacity. Now, because of this alkyl group the donating capacity has increased this was not there in the original ammonia. Original ammonia has a donating capacity, but increased donating capacity only you find in alkyl substituted amine. Similarly, when two R's are there when two R's are there more alkyl groups are there therefore, the donating capacity original donating capacity added donating capacity one more added donating capacity. So, naturally you can explain that the two alkyl containing ammonia is found to be more basic the values also refer the same thing this is called one degree amine one degree that is primary amine this is called two degree or secondary amine. So, we have a, a general statement leaving the alkyl nature we have a general statement that a two degree amines in general two R 2 N H is found to be more basic than R N H 2 
is found to be more basic than the ammonia. This is a general statement. You can have a small uh, differences when R changes, but in general the R2, R1 and uh, as the number of the alkyl groups uh, uh, decreasing, the basicity is decreasing. The more the alkyl groups, more will be the basicity. However, you can go to the one more extent. If three alkyls are there, naturally we expect more basicity, but there is another phenomena called steric hindrance is coming. So, therefore, let us not take the three alkyls now. Now, this, this statement also can be shown in terms of the regular example like methyl amine is found to be more basic than ammonia, right? This is the one simple example. And even ethyl amine is found to be ethyl amine means uh, so one more carbon having let us take a CH2 NH2 is more basic than the methyl amine right it is also found to be the values pKa values are basicity uh, measurements if you see this is stronger to the even uh, two methyls containing ammonia when it is compared with a uh, either with the methylamine or with ethylamine is more basic and it is also with the um, ethylamine. In this case, uh, uh, alkyl group if it is 2 carbon, there are also 2 carbons are there, but here 2 carbons are directly attached. That means, uh, 2 inductive effects are directly influencing. Here only one alkyl group directly influencing, the other one is through the carbon that means this carbon acts as a in between carbon acts as a screen. So, the efficiency of the alkyl group on the N decreases. So, therefore, the ethylamine and the dimethyl this is directly influencing. So, the dimethylamine is found to be more basic than the amine. Like that uh, internal examples uh, number of examples you can code. The ultimately what we are saying in this the application is ammonia is originally base that is not because of the inductive effect, but the basicity of ammonia when R is there, the basicity is increased, original basicity is increased. When two R's are there, much more increased. So, this alkyls uh, in general taken as a plus I because alkyl groups what it is attached to the groups, uh, most of the groups are electronegative groups. So, therefore, alkyl groups are arbitrarily fixed as a plus I groups. Specifically in this example also, if a methyl amine is there like a methyl carbon and nitrogen, nitrogen is more electronegative, therefore it is withdrawing. So, the alkyl groups uh, are found to be small electron density shifted through the nitrogen. It is not total electrons. If the electrons are given away, the bond opens and you will get cation, anion. But in this case, the in the inductive effect in the entire feature, you do not find the shift of the two electrons. It is a small electron density shift which makes a delta plus delta minus results in the um, reactivities uh, and the stabilities uh, difference. So, that is uh, what we are explaining here. So, it is in general you can say that 2 degree amines are secondary amines are more basic than primary amines and primary amines in turn are more basic than the ammonia. This is the essence of this particular application of the inductive effect on the basicity of the amines.